Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back. I'm David Cortez, and it is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about an important topic: the cyber security. So let's start. Cyber security is a critical aspect of modern digital life. Protecting our electronic devices and sensitive information from virus threats. One of the primary concerns in cybersecurity is malicious code, which encompasses a wide range of harmful software designed to damage, disrupt, or gain unauthorized access to computer systems. Categories of malicious code, viruses, malicious programs that attach themselves to legitimate files or programs and spread to other files and systems, can corrupt or delete data, slow down system performance and cause system crashes. Worms, self-replicating malware that spreads across networks without needing to attach to a host file, can consume bandwidth, overload systems, and facilitate further attacks by creating backdoors. Trojans, malicious software disguised as legitimate software to trick users into installing it can create backdoor steal data and allow remote control of the infected system. Ransomware Malware that encrypts a victim's data and demands a ransom for the decryption key can cause significant financial loss and disrupt operations, as seen in high-profile attacks on cities and organizations. Spyware Software that secretly monitors and collects user information without their knowledge can steal sensitive information such as passwords, credit card numbers, and personal data. Adware Software that uh, automatically displays or downloads uh, advertising material can be intrusive and degrade system performance and sometimes include spyware components. Rootkits, software designed to gain an authorized root or administrative access to a system, can hide other malicious activities and make them difficult to detect. Keyloggers, programs that record keystrokes to capture sensitive information like passwords and credit card numbers, can lead to identity theft and financial loss. Fileless malware, malware that does not rely on files and leaves no footprint, making it hard to detect, can execute malicious activities directly in memory, bypassing traditional antivirus software. Strategies to defend electronic devices, install and maintain antivirus software, regularly update antivirus software to detect and remove malware, use reputable antivirus solutions from trusted vendors, Keep software updated, regularly update operating system, browsers and other software to patch vulnerabilities. Use strong passwords and multi-factor authentication MFA. Create complex passwords and change them regularly. Enable MFA to add an extra layer of security. Be cautious with links and attachments, avoid clicking on suspicious links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. Enable firewalls, use firewalls to block unauthorized access to your network and devices. Regular data backups, regularly backup important data to recover it in case of, ra of a ransomware attack or data loss as this is the most important thing that you must do. Regular data backups. Regularly backup important data to recover it 
in case of a ransomware attack or data loss. This is the best method. The best method for protecting your data. Educate yourself and others. Stay informed about the latest cybersecurity threats and the best practices. Educate employees and family members about safe online behavior. Use limited permissions. Operate with user accounts that have limited permissions to reduce the impact of potential infections. Disable auto-run and auto-play. Prevent external media from automatically running potentially malicious code. Mon monitor device activity. Regularly check for unusual activity on your devices and networks. Conclusion. Understanding the various types of malicious code and implementing robust cybersecurity strategies are essential steps in protecting electronic devices from cyber threats. By staying vigilant and proactive, individuals and organizations can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to malicious attacks. So, it's everything for, for now. I want to remember that you can visit my website, there are a lot of information, useful information about software engineering, web development, uh, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and there are also a lot of extra like, for example, the game of chess, other games, and everything you can, uh, uh, for example, uh, the, the, the block puzzle game, don't call it Tetris, please, you can study the JavaScript code, clicking the right button of your mouse, view page source, so uh, you can uh, you can study for example uh, the the code so it's a wonderful uh, way to to learn so st to study by playing by building a game it's a wonderful way to to learn uh, you can find a lot of in interesting things about uh, mathematics, uh, for example, uh, a lot of exercises. Uh, you can uh, watch the video tutorial, uh, video tutorial as, as well on my YouTube channel. And uh, I want to, I want to say a huge thank you Hello, because, uh, because. Uh, I have received an important. Uh, so I, I I have received recently the YouTube Silver Creator Award. So thank you, thank you guys uh, for this. Uh, so we we have passed the one hundred thousand subscribers. So unbelievable, honestly, it's unbelievable. Uh, uh, it's not. Uh, um, an arrival point, but it is a starting point. So we we are creating uh, um, a fantastic community about uh, software development, about mathematics, physics, uh, chemistry, coding. Uh, it's uh, it's wonderful. So so thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, follow me. We are uh, we are uh, and an important thing that I want to remember that uh, if you can you can make uh, a donation. So, dear friend, your donation is important. Help me update this website and join this community. For now is everything. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!